Hey you guys, thank you for watching my channel. This is Piper. This is your read for the month of October for Aries. So, fire sign Aries, we're gonna pick a subject out of this bowl and figure out what you're gonna be focusing on for the month of October, what's important to you and what you need to work on. For Aries, please. I'm tipping the bowl away from me so I can't see. Okay. Family, Aries, wow, okay. So, just so you guys know, I'm gonna leave this little tag right up here. So, family for you guys in October. Um, I did meditate on this reading before I shuffled my cards, and while I was doing so, I did get some um, downloads for Aries, and I feel like, for the most part, Aries is re- working their foundation in October. And I feel like it's a, in a good way. Um, the message that I was getting was it's about strengthening your interior, about making better judgment calls in relationships. And I'm getting strengthened of everything, working from the ground up. And for you guys, it's not a surprise to me that family came up as a subject for October because I feel like you're gonna start there for most of you. Um, if some of you have been alienated from family, you may go back or um, reconnect, or you just may be trying to be there a little bit more for certain people. Um, and I feel like uh, for a lot of you, this is about, you wanna, you're gonna rework your whole life, but this is how it begins, or this is the way you, start for most of you um, about strengthening bonds in existing relationships and in even in new relationships I feel like you guys are being much more discerning I think Aries has learned a lot of lessons over the past I'm gonna say few years um, a few months few years there have been some harsh lessons some harsh karmic um, journeys and for you guys um, and um, I do believe that you guys are coming out of that um, yeah and they're saying to me right now becoming more open to suggestion becoming more when it comes to finding solutions to your problems Aries you guys are being much more flexible than you normally would be. I feel like some of you have very hard lines, typically drawn in the sand. And and it's not as if you, you do still have boundaries. You have drawn lines in the sand, but they're not the same types of lines that they were before. They're much more reasonable. They're acceptable by others. And, and even though many people may not like these lines drawn in the sand. I feel that they're, they're, it's not as if people wouldn't respect you for making those, um, those choices or for, for establishing those, uh, those boundaries. So although they might not like it, they will respect it. All right, so I'm gonna take two cards from the Psychic Tarot. Let's talk about family for Aries for the month of October, please. Well, there we go. Heart chakra card. Aries, please, for family. Ooh, you got a bunch of cards. Okay, that always happens to me. <laughs> okay, so the heart chakra card means we need to work on opening our heart a little bit more, work on being... So when I mentioned having boundaries drawn, and so while it's really great for us to be, I say us because I'm a, I'm a full-blown Aries, just so you all know, hi. <laughs> uh, and so we do still need to kind of open our heart um, and be accepting of others' ways as well. Um, I do feel like you guys are going to make the effort in in October. Um, opening your heart to others regardless of it, everybody's on a journey. And so I feel like it's asking you, this card is asking you to accept other boundaries as well. Um,
Yeah. This is about learning to accept others' boundaries as well. They keep giving me the same sentence over and over again. Um, so you also have emotional withdrawal. This card is about, so at this time, opening your heart chakra is going to require you to step back a little bit. It's going to ask you to, this is how they're putting it to me. They're saying you're going to have to accept some quiet time. So even though you may feel really good or you may feel like you want to go forth in, is, is what they're saying to me. It's about um, having to, I, they want you to focus on processing certain emotions that um, will enable you to open this heart chakra. And so, I mean, as far as family is concerned, in order to start over, which is what you have here, new beginnings, the fool in, in the Rider weight deck in this deck, it's the card of zero. Um, starting over with a fresh start and so in order to do that you do you are going to have to relax meditate sit and think um i feel like you guys aren't gonna okay and also for some of you you're not you may not be expressing your emotions properly or it's difficult with the eight. It's, it's also difficult to keep one's emotions to oneself. Like you may be asked to take the emotion out of the situation, open yourself up to others ways, ways of being, um, you know, other people's boundaries, other people's rules. Um, but, in order to do so, you may have to kind of put yourself in a more objective standpoint. And it's going to require you to kind of pull back a little bit emotionally. So the new beginning card is all about new beginnings. It's all about moving forward in a way in which you have no regrets. Um, it's about not letting things worry you. It's about reestablishing connections with a clean slate. Um, and so in order to do that, opening your heart, taking the, um, you know, your, <laughs> they just said to me, your fiery emotions out of the, the situation. Um, I feel like that's, enabled, you know, this is going to maybe avoid some confrontations. And it's not as if a lot of confrontations aren't healthy, but sometimes Sometimes confrontation is healthy, but I feel like in order to do this, you're going to have to realize that you may be more emotional than others about certain situations. And it puts you maybe in, um, it may, I feel like it may cause situations in which you may not get along with others in your family or, just makes it more difficult for you to see everybody's point. Um, and so, but I feel like you guys make a lot of headway. Um, I do feel like there's a gathering for some of you in October. I'm going to flip um, several cards from the, this is the Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Which will give us some details here. Oh, there we go. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my, yeah, it is all about family. Wow, okay. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And then you also got the Ten of Pentacles right side up. So this is all about family, solid, grounded relationships, prosperity with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is what they're saying. It's time to, you have a card of new beginnings here. You have the full new beginnings starting clean. And what they're saying to me with this card is it's time to realize what can be done with the small amount of money that you have. And so you may not have, you know, the Ace of Pentacles right side up is like big money, um, money coming from the sky, investments or winning lottery tickets. I don't know why my camera won't focus here, but when it's in the reverse, it may be delayed or 
or something new or something very profitable you may be putting on the back burner so that you can make family your main priority. I do feel like some of the... <laughs> I do feel like some of you, um, I do feel like some of you, this is going to sound kind of bizarre. I feel like some of you, your family thinks you're doing very well, or, or you think other family members are doing very well. Um, and it may just be a case of, I feel like it's, um, They're putting it to me like mistaken identity. That's what they keep saying, but that's not what they mean. They mean it's almost as if you guys are all unaware of each other's situations because of either separations or maybe you just aren't aware because some of you just aren't close anymore. But I do feel like with the Ten of Pentacles here, There needs to be, something needs to be done. Somebody needs to reach, um, they keep saying to me, reach down deep to figure out what could be done to improve the financial situation. Because right now, they're saying to me, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse doesn't guarantee you any big money in the future. Um, and so something's either on delay, on hold because of family or because you need to strengthen family bonds right now. Some of you maybe have offers here, the Ace of Pentacles right side up. Some of you could be an offer of a bigger paycheck, you know, um, you know, new opportunities that will provide you with riches or, you know, very good, uh, paychecks in the future, anything involving, you know, um, money, gold, <laughs> moolah, but it's in the reverse. And I feel like it, I don't feel like it's that said if it's never going to happen, but there's somebody either hasn't gotten paid in a while. There could be that situation going on. It's definitely has to do with delayed funds or being in arrears somehow. And so maybe you guys are coming closer together to figure out, you know, how can we make things work in the future and still stay very close as a family? I feel like it's important for you guys this month. For sure. So since this has a little bit of a money connotation to do with it, um, I'm going to give you guys an Oracle card to go with it. And I think I'm going to use this deck. This is a Manifestor deck. How can Aries manifest their best month in October, please? Oh, here we go. Motivation. This card reads, I am motivated and motivated people help me to improve my finances. And I feel like these motivated people, I think this is your family. And if this is about your family, you're the motivator. Um, but I do feel like it has to do with banding together to handle um, such situations and making and getting strengthening bonds, being more open and kind hearted to one another than you may have been in the past and really, really just taking a good look at how everybody's doing. I feel like this, um, a definite advantage to be coming closer together here for you guys. So, okay. All right, Aries, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe. Um, and, um, if you need to um, look up information regarding a personal reading, that can be found in the information box, description box below this video. So please follow the directions found there. Send me an email and we'll see what we can do about getting you a personal reading. Thank you so much.